Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you today about mold and mast cell activation syndrome and histamine intolerance. So mold is one of the biggest triggers for your mast cells to release inflammatory chemicals and histamine. So um, mold is very versatile. It can live indoors, it can live outdoors, it can be in your kitchen, your bathroom, it can live behind walls. I mean, it can be places that you could never imagine it could be. And it's very common in states like Florida where I live, but, but many other states, you know, it, it just likes dark, damp places. So, um, you know, one of the uh, issues with mold is that it has, there's tiny little spores and they can kind of spread all over the place. So a lot of people, I've heard people will say like, oh, I had mold in this one room, but the rest of the house is fine. But really it can really spread to the rest of the house and you just don't realize it. So the issue with mold is it releases something called mycotoxins. And these mycotoxins are extremely harmful for your body. And what they do is they, they cause our body to be, get on the defense. So when your body gets on the defense, your mast cells release histamine, which causes inflammation and other um, chemicals into our body. And it just leaves us in this chronic state of inflammation and tons of histamine left in the body that can be very hard to break down. So if you guys have heard me speak about histamine before, you know it is not a bad thing in normal amounts, but when there's too much histamine, it can be a real problem causing headaches, anxiety, flushing, you know, vertigo, eczema, so many different symptoms. So it's, it's you know, very, very harmful to have something like mold constantly triggering you. And the thing with mold is, is when you're living in mold, you are in a chronic state of inflammation. So you become very sick. And most people that live in mold, they don't know what's wrong. They just know that they feel terrible. And this happened to me. So a long time ago, I found out that I had mast cell activation syndrome and I did what I had to do. The things I talk about um, in all my blogs, my book, everything, you know, I worked on my gut. I worked on, um, you know, my diet, eat a low histamine diet. I worked on, you know, reducing stress, all the different things I talked about. And I was feeling great. I was doing really well for a long time. And one day I woke up and felt really weird, you know, kind of felt like I had a terrible hangover. And it started happening every day after that. And it was going on and on and on. And it was getting worse and worse and worse. I could barely make it from my bedroom to the living room. I couldn't drive my kids to school. It was really hard. And I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't figure out what it was because I couldn't smell the mold. I can usually smell mold from a mile away and I could not smell it. So, um, long story short, I found out that I did have mold coming in from the flooring underneath my bed. So there was a crack in the concrete and it was releasing mold and there was carpet and it was a great warm, dark place for mold to grow and there was black mold everywhere. So, um, you know, when you have mass activation syndrome, you can be very sensitive to treatment and any of you watching this who has this knows what I'm talking about. You can be very sensitive to supplements and so it's very hard to know where to start. So what I did was I basically followed the plan that I set up in my four phase histamine reset um, book, which is first I supported my liver and I couldn't take any supplements at this point because I was too sensitive. So I did castor oil packs. I did them every day for 45 minutes and that you know, helped me to be able to start moving toxins out. First and foremost, we had to remediate the mold. You have to get out of the mold. If you don't get out of the mold, you're never gonna get better. So it's a pain, you have to have specialists come in and it's not fun, but it's necessary because I'm telling you, it will literally ruin your quality of life until you do. So I did that, I had to go back to eating a really low histamine diet. Um, and then eventually I could start taking other supplements like phosphatidylcholine and, um, you know, methylated B vitamin stuff to just help get my body to start pushing things out. And then eventually I could tolerate some supplements that I use with some of my patients in my practice that help to actually remove mold. So, um, if you're not feeling well and you've been working with someone, or even if you haven't been working with someone, but you feel like you've been doing everything right 
and you're not getting better, I would highly recommend you look into to the picture of mold. You know, have a, a person come out, check, they, they'll run a test, it's about $500, but it's worth it. Um, and then, you know, if you do have it, like I said, you have to remediate the mold because you can't stay there. You cannot continue to take that in. So I hope this helps someone out there, even one person, because it was literally ruining my life and um, and it's you can get rid of it and you can get back to normal and I'm back to normal now and I'm very grateful that I found this out and um, you know follow some type of plan. My book lays out a plan. You don't have to follow that one, but it's a great place to start. And um, thanks for watching.